In this tutorial, we're going to look at a little bit of sequencer. Um, so in a lecture with my students, I've looked over the basics of creating sequencer and uh, I may do an actual tutorial on that. So actually creating level sequences, uh, adding cameras in there, moving the cameras around, creating shots and putting those together. So this is the culmination of that, which is just all my final shots put into one level sequence. Um, so let's just have a look at that. If I just go into my view here and let's just go into immersive mode. Uh, I can't do an F11 because of my screen capture software, but this is what we have. I do have, I, I did cut this to audio as well. Um, the audio is copyrighted, so I've just not included that in there. The stutter may be down to my capture uh, the assets for this by the way are just from the Infinity Blades Iceland uh, something gonna miss there just need to check that Okay. Um, come out of immersive mode. Let me just check what's going off here. For some reason, I don't have my last shot on this. Don't know why. Uh, I might have accidentally pressed delete on something. Let's just go back to this marker. Uh, I've set up markers, by the way, on here. So you can set those up by moving to a place in time, right clicking and adding a mark. Similarly, uh, you can move to a place in time and just press M on the keyboard and that creates a mark as well. If I go over that, I can just right click and I can clear the mark or clear all marks. And we can also go between these marks by using our shortcut, Control Shift and Comma to go to the previous mark, con Control Shift and Full Stop to go to the next mark and that's really handy. So with this in this place, let's just add my final shot. So let's click on this shot here, go into shot seven. I just want to reposition this. So I'm just going to drag this down onto another shot. And let's just play this out. So I want this already moving a little bit at the start of the shot. So let's just... Okay, I'll be fine just for the purpose of this. Um, so I'm going to trim this little bit of footage off at the start of this. And say I'll, I'll try to do a video tutorial for all of those things. Um, but just again some shortcuts with my playback head at this current marker. Basically I want to trim this bit off here. Uh, so we can right click, go to edit. And we can trim left, we can trim right, we can also split. What I can also do is I can do a control and comma and that will trim the footage to the left of my playback head. Similarly, control and full stop will trim to the right of that. So if I just have my playback head there, do control full stop, and that trims to this side. If I wanted to split that so I have both bits of footage but I can just play around with them, um, control and forward slash will split those two bits of footage but I want that all as one and then I'm just going to move this up to that track and then now we have that cutting into that okay so that's our sequence so far so what I want to do with this I'm just going to move to this marker uh, I'm going to have another another um, take at this so basically this is one take try it out but if you want to try out different camera moves we can use the takes uh, facility with an Unreal Sequencer. So to do that, just right click over the shot I want to do a new take for. And in the shot menu, we can just do new take. I'm just going to go in and this is shot seven. Um, this is a default name. I'm just going to go with my name on this. So I'm going to take out this 
one of these is zeros so we have a shot zero zero seven underscore and i'll call this let's just take out zero uh, this is actually going to be take one for example um and let's save that off and what that does is it duplicates our actual shot so we now have the shot 007 underscore 01. If I double click into that, this is that particular shot. Okay, go back to my master shot. I can right click on that and we can just choose the take. So if we're going to take one, well, the first take on there, shot seven. That's our first take. Go back to my master shot. I right click, go to takes and go to the second one. I should have actually called that take two, but never mind. Um, that looks like. Nope, that's still the same one. Let's give that a different name. Let's just go in. Let's bring that to that. Uh, let's do that again. Let's do a new take. This time I'll call it shot 007. Let's keep it, leave, leave it at 002. Save that. Let's see if this works now. So I have my takes. There we go. So I've got take one. And now I have take two, which makes sense. Okay. If I double click on this, then I'm actually going into that shot. Seven, uh, 007002. And now we can go in and edit this. So uh, let's just zoom out. Or I can use the minus button and plus button to zoom in and out. I believe home shows the whole thing as well. Uh, so let's go to the beginning of this sequence. I don't know if I've just got the end of the other sequence on there. So let me just go in here. I'm just going to... Okay, just go back to that frame. And I'm going to put a marker in there as well. So I can go back to that position really quickly. Control, Shift, and Comma. I can go back to that. So uh, let's go in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this camera. Here, I'm going to create a new camera for the shot. So I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to use a different type of camera. I'm going to use this camera rig crane. So let's drag this into the scene. So this is, let's just press F to focus in on this. This is kind of representing a real world crane, cine crane. I'm going to pull this back. And I've kind of got an idea for a shot in my mind where we are, we sort of follow this chain up and we move up to the head of this character. So we need to bring in the camera. So let's grab a cine camera actor. Let's just drag this into the scene. And with this camera, I'm going to get this. So this is our cine camera actor 1051. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drag it over the top of this camera rig crane uh, and there you get this little message attached to the crane uh, cine camera actor which you want to do drop that and then it offsets it so this is now linked into this so to get this camera in the right place simply click on the camera and we can oh, go and rename it we can go into our location i'm just going to set all the location values to zero and that's going to put the camera right on the end of the crane. So if you click on this crane, we're now looking through uh, our camera as well on that. Because that's attached into it. Uh, and over here we have our crane controls. So we have a pitch, just moving this up and down. Reset that. We have our yaw, which is moving that from side to side. And then what we can also do is we can zoom in and out with this crane arm, you can stretch in and out with that. Okay. So, uh, let me bring this rig in. 
grab this. It's going to click on the plus. I'm going to add to sequence. I'm going to add the camera grain. And we also need to add in our camera. So let's add in add to sequence our camera as well. I think that should still be looking through. Let me just click on this one. Still be looking through our crane. Yep, it is. Okay. I will click on this. So this is just locking this viewport here to this particular camera. So when I'm moving things around, it's, we're going to be able to see the results of this here. Uh, let me just make sure I'm at that marker. I can actually go a little bit before. And what I also just want to make sure I'm doing in this camera cuts, um, where this is using this here, I just want to make sure that we are using this Cine Camera Actor 1051, just so we're using the right footage there. Okay. So, that in mind, let's start looking at moving this camera around. So I'm going to grab my crane. And you can see we've got the values here. So I'll just grab that. Make sure I'm in this view. And let me just bring this round. Just gonna just undo this a second. For some reason, let me just come out of the piloting for this. Uh, this is just, let me just grab my crane. Okay, this is just move the position of this crane. Let me just move this back. Oop. I'm actually piloting the crane in this view, which I didn't really want at all. Bring that down just roughly into the position that I want this, and then I can set that up um, as I need that. So uh, I've actually done a few steps. So, so let's bring those things back on. I think I've still got the camera attached to that, hopefully. Yep, I have. So you can see where that's looking right now on there. So uh, let's grab that. Let's go in and add the camera crane. Let's get the camera on there. Sorry about that. Let's bring that in. So we've got both of those things. And um, as I did before, I'm just going to go up and the camera cuts. Let's use this sequence and let's use this camera and make sure that we are looking through that particular camera there. Uh, I do need to set the camera up. So to fit in with my other cameras, so just click on, click on this, click on this. I might double click on this and let's call this uh, Because calling it shot cam 007 underscore tip two, just so I know where I am with that. Um, I need to change this. So my film back settings, I'm just going to go in. I've got a custom setting on this to give it a 235 aspect ratio, so anamorphic. So I'm going to set this to 15.31. Uh, so it's 235 there and thereabouts, just to give us that pillar box. And let's click on the crane. And what I'll do is um, I'm going to get my initial position on this. So I'm just going to pull this back. It's going to bring this round. So we're starting from the bottom of this chain going up. So with that there, I'm actually going to create some keyframes. So I'm on the right frame here. Let's create some keyframes for these three. Can also do that here as well. But I've got my initial keyframes. And then let's move to around there. We can always move the keyframes afterwards. Uh, sort of finish the shot nearer the end. And let's play around with this now. So let's see if I can take this camera up. I want to take this camera right up and then let's just do the yaw. Let's just move this around. 
So let's just again bring this up a little bit. Now, one thing I do need to do as well, which I've not done, let me just go back to the camera. So I may need to fix this. Uh, I do want to set the lens type. So this is a universal zoom at the minute. I'm going to do it as a 30 mil. Uh, so it's not too bad a change. Um, let's go in here. So let's just bring this. Let's just pitch. Again, let me just bring this out. It didn't create a keyframe there, but doing it here, I am now creating a keyframe. Let's just bring this round. Let's bring this crane arm length up. May do it to about there. Okay. So that should come out from there. Go all the way up. Follow that chain up and come onto this character at the end. Okay, so we have that movement. Uh, I can just go to my previous keyframe, make sure I'm on one of these tracks, click back to that. What I may also do is do a focal pull on this. So let's get my camera, let's get this to sample from here. So we're sampling that focal distance and then let's click on that to create a key. Let's go to our final keyframe. And again, just need to click on this to go to my next one. Uh, let's do the same thing. I'm going to click on my camera. I'm going to click this pipette and let's focus on. The character here. Do this. So we have something like that, okay. Uh, so we could go in on this and let's look at these. So uh, we just got a standard ease out, ease in on these. And in fact, let's look at what it looks like. So we get something like that. Okay. Um, at this point, I might just Just speeding that up a little bit on the movement across, just so it's already at this uh, position over this. Or oh, we could actually go in on that position. I just want this to be more over the uh, chain itself. So I could actually go in here and we could just create another keyframe at this point. If I just grab this keyframe and just drag this up a little bit. Then we're just kind of focusing more on that. And let's just grab that. Yeah, just make that a bit smoother on there. So we can always go in and tweak those things. Let's look at this. As with the other things I've got on here, what I want to make sure I'm doing, let's bring that down, is uh, I want some movement already on there. So I'm just going to click on all of these three. And I'm just going to start this movement a little bit earlier so as we come into this it's already moving so it's moving out the other one and moving into the next shot okay so i can go back to my master shot now and i should now have this shot in place so let's just play that Uh, 
Let's go through this. So we just got a frame there. Let's just zoom in on this. So let me just make sure that, let's go back to my shot or two. I'm gonna just go into this clip at the start. I'm gonna drag this clip out and make sure that's right at the beginning. There we go. Okay, back to my master shot. Just check that that's happened. There we go. So that now goes up. And we get to the end. Okay. Uh, so now we can choose between those two takes. So if I right click on this, now we've got those takes. I can go to take one, which is this one, or I can go in there and choose take two, which is this one. So you can have a few variations uh, and you can choose between them. Uh, so that is just using the takes, uh, the take system in the Unreal Sequencer and a little bit of just the camera rig crane as well.